trying to get the guitars right first. Um, yeah, so I didn't explain before, but it's a, it's a, <laughs> it's like a surf guitar track. All the noise in the background's from the uh, tape echo. I'm mixing a mono at the moment, um, and then you separate it later. I always find it sounds better that way. On track one, we've got um, this drum machine. I don't know, can you see that? That's going through a tape echo as well. drums all the way to the left, put the bass all the way to the right, um, put the lead guitar all the way to the right, and then the rhythm guitar can be in the middle. That's the good thing about doing such um, <laughs> such niche music, I guess, is uh, you can just do what the fuck you want. start by mixing way too bassy or way too much low end so I've kind of <laughs> got to this stage and it's probably sounding a bit too dark and then I'll um on the tape machine it's easy to actually just add brightness I've just been adding that's what I was just doing then now what I can do is add this guy here no, it's connected. It's going from the effects end of that. And now I can just send anything to it for one of these. So if I want to send more of the drums to it. See? way too extreme but um actually no I quite like it. Anyway, here we go. So yeah I'm pretty much <laughs> pretty much happy with that. Um so I'll probably just do a final bounce in now. There's not much, I don't think there's any automation. Normally you'd have to fiddle with something on the way in. <laughs> um, no, it's all, um, it's all good. Um, I'll see, see you next time.